everything you have believed comes under the test when you come to this season your ideologies your beliefs your prayer life your dexterity in the spirit your endurance everything you have ever acquired through the world will come on that test and if you cannot stand that test brothers and sisters you may stand from here and see canaan but you may never enter it the fact that you have seen the vision the fact that you have had the dream is no guarantee the fact that god spoke to you is no guarantee that you will arrive there is someone hearing what i'm saying welcome to start now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word is it life as you listen and watch may you experience the transformative power of god's life the concept of timings and seasons there are very few messages in the body of christ that attempt to address the issue of divine timings and the seasons of men's life yet the bible talks a lot about the things that happen under the sun and that anything under the sun is governed by times and seasons say after me times and seasons ecclesiastes chapter 3 gives us an extensive description of the revelation and the power of times and seasons and how that these things hold the key to our manifestation in this earth in this realm and that means if we do not understand spiritual timings if we do not understand seasons we may be equipped with the principles but we will faint because we do not realize that god is working even at those times and seasons so i want to teach on certain things that will bless us tonight the bible says for us not to be weary in well doing hallelujah he said for in due season we will reap last week i began to talk about how that the bible gives us a mystery that time and chance happen to them you remember that teaching hallelujah and so that our 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 part of the equation is not to sit down and keep waiting for the time the bible already gives us a guarantee that time and chance will happen to everyone so rather than sitting down and waiting where will my turn come we spend the time doing what sharpening our abilities so that when that time comes we will be ushered into the realm of greatness never to come out again if you believe it say amen let me talk about two concepts and then we'll build number one write this word down waiting w-a-i-t-i-n-g waiting one word that gets believers scared in the kingdom many people have preached all kinds of messages but tonight i want us to examine these concepts i do my best by the leadership of the spirit to make sure that we leave no stone unturned as far as the journey to our destiny and our success is concerned waiting one of the hardest things that can happen to a believer is to enter a season of waiting it can be so frustrating it can be so painful that it will take the ability and the strength of the spirit for you to survive that season please take note of what i'm sharing no matter how anointed you are no matter how great you are if there is a prophecy upon your life hear me between that prophecy and the manifestation of that prophecy a time will come in your life when you will step into this season of waiting and it's important i teach you how it works in the kingdom otherwise when you enter that season you may be so confused and you will abort destiny not knowing what is happening behind the scenes is somebody getting blessed already because many of us right now are in this phase as i speak right now there are individuals who are at these periods of their life and truly they are confused because this season rattles your convictions everything you have believed comes under the test when you come to this season 
your ideologies your beliefs your prayer life your dexterity in the spirit your endurance everything you have ever acquired through the world will come on that test and if you cannot stand that test brothers and sisters you may stand from here and see canaan but you may never enter it the fact that you have seen the vision the fact that you have had the dream is no guarantee the fact that god spoke to you is no guarantee that you will arrive there is someone hearing what i'm saying you saw yourself a mighty evangelist you saw yourself a mighty apostle in your dreams you see crusades you see a lot of things in your dreams you have seen that you are a financial apostle you've seen yourself doing mighty things for the kingdom i want to announce to you tonight that between the prophecy and its manifestation are stages and principles and one of those stages is called the period of waiting and if you do not understand this brothers and sisters you may never arrive there Proverbs 13 verse 12 Proverbs 13 verse 12 Let's hurry up tonight Open your heart Hallelujah Now the Bible explains to us You see, look up please I've spent my life not just studying on the kingdom But studying about man Because I'm a man and I, I like to know what, what my, the components of my, my, my creation, my build up. I like to know what my strengths are. Not as a, my personality, but the general man. I like to know who man is. What are his limitations? What are his predicaments? What are the vulnerabilities that can befall man? this revelation helps me to know where to lean on God more hallelujah and here and there I have found certain inevitable weaknesses that are fabricated in man and it will take us understanding those limitations and leaning on the strength of God to supplement for our inadequacies at that time otherwise we will not last one of it is this simple scripture that many of us have read again and again one to read hope deferred makes what when you postpone hope when expectations are not met the bible says it can affect your spirit man are you reading it here the word heart there's the same word spirit when you hope for certain things by our natural design we love winning we love achieving we love accomplishing things are you getting my point we love seeing a sign of progress in our lives is someone getting what I'm, I'm, I'm saying tonight the Bible says when that hope that we have that drives us into destiny when those expectations that we have are not achieved when it is deferred that means when it is postponed the bible says it has an effect not just in your physical body it does not just create fatigue in your physical body it affects even your spirit man he said but when desire cometh, it is a tree of life when you achieve your goals and you hold on to it there is the joy that fulfillment and accomplishment brings in every man hallelujah that means when the waiting period between your prophecy and its manifestation gets too long if you do not understand the technology and the provision that has been made in the spirit to carry you through that process you may never arrive there are you getting what i'm saying although anointed although born again the bible tells us that there is a there is an inadequacy that is in man that man does not have the, the ability to endure to suffer long forever 
that means a time comes in the equation of your life when your patience gets stretched out no matter how good and godly you are that means there must be a technology in the spirit that is able to hold you and take you to the place of destiny say amen we believe you were blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.